Hi, I'm Claire and this is Craig and right now we were supposed to be travelling around Australia and New Zealand in a camper van but since we had to cancel those plans we decided to buy our own van and have a go at self-converting it into a camper van. Neither of us have a huge amount of DIY experience and being in a wheelchair adds another challenge so it's going to be an interesting experience. In this episode we put the wall panels in and we begin to build the bed. So we're just in the process of painting our wall panels. We've gone for the colour sea ice, which is a white with a very, very slight hint of blue. Um, and we're going to paint all of our wall panels in this colour. We've gone for quite a light colour because it's a small space and the van is black. We don't want it to be really dark and feel cramped inside. So we're thinking quite a bright colour will help with that. We got these pre-cut wall panels from Custom Shop Designs, which is the same place that we got our flooring from as well and our roof actually. And these walls are six millimetre thick plywood which is hopefully going to be strong enough to fix some things too and it's twice as thick as the original panels which came with the van. We haven't got much daylight left so we're going to try and get all of these wall panels into the van as quickly as possible. We've redone our string and got these magnetic hook things to hold the string up so the sheep's wool is now staying in much better than it was before. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to fit all of the panels in the end last night. It was a bit easier said than done trying to do it in the dark. And also some of them didn't actually fit 100%. So we need to make do some slight adjustments to the fit, a bit of filing them down to get them to fit properly. So we'll do that today and hopefully we can get them all fitted in today. Yesterday was yet another unsuccessful attempt at getting these wall panels on. So we've got this one, it is actually holding on. However, we can't get the fixings into these holes because there's wool behind them. So we're gonna to have to take it off again, remove the wool and then put it back on. But since it's holding up for now and it's out of the way, we're gonna do this one first and then we're gonna come back, take this one off, remove the wool and put it back on after we've done this one. Oh, finally, the first of the big panels is finally in properly. So now we need to take the other one back down again to remove the insulation so we can put it in properly. When we tried to put the panel on, the panel was just flexing and it wouldn't really sit flush enough for us to screw it down. Um, so what Claire's doing now, she's just taking a bit of wool out, making sure it sits a bit flatter. And then the wool she takes out, she's using to fill the door piece here. The other reason for this is because the wool works best as an insulator when it's not squashed at all. So by having too much in there, it'll get squashed and then it won't insulate as well. So we'll take some out, let it expand and make sure we're not squashing it down. Because this piece of wood is thicker than the original one, we're struggling to get the handle in which closes the door. So what we're gonna to have to do is file a bit around it down to make it the same thickness as it was before. So we can then screw the handle back in and back into the door. We finally got the handle in, so now we're going to finish up the insulation and screw this thing on. Craig is just sanding down the pieces of our bed ready for varnishing. We're trying to get all the varnishing and painting done now while we've got a spell of nice weather so that it can dry properly. And for the bed we're using this Osmo Oil Wood Wax Finish in Light Oak. We've bought a bed from a company called Van Furniture who make flat back furniture for camper vans. We decided to get this bed because we wanted a sliding pull out bed and we'd looked at some different designs and then we saw this one from Van Furniture which had pretty much exactly all the functionality that we wanted. So we wanted a pull out bed which we could open up and have some storage underneath. So because this one had that we thought oh, it was just going to be much easier to get this one since it's a flat pack than trying to work out how to make our own. Today we're assembling the bed, we oiled it yesterday and now we're going to put it together today but we're not actually ready to put it in the van just yet, however we don't have anything else to do right now because we're waiting on some things to arrive before we can get on with anything else so since we've got this free time we thought why not get the bed ready and then we can put it in once we've finished everything else.
So we've assembled the bed. It just slides out like this. And then for storage, you can open up to put stuff in there. And then you can also open up from the side to get in and out. But we have noticed a couple of issues with this bed. So the first one is sliding in and out. Slides out fine. But when you want to slide back in again, it crashes here and you have to lift it up to get it on. When you've got the cushion on top, it might be a bit annoying to have to try and lift it on. So we're thinking of maybe putting a little like sloped piece here so that it will just slide on instead of crashing. But the bigger issue we have is that the bed won't fit over the wheel arch. So we haven't actually decided on the layout of the camp van just yet. We might end up putting it down here at the front, in which case it will be fine, there won't be an issue. But if we do decide to go with the bed up here at the top, then we're gonna have to put something underneath it, I think, to raise it up a bit and maybe cut away a little bit at the back so that it can fit over the wheel arch. Um, but yeah, that depends on when we've decided on the layout, because if we do decide to put it there, we don't need to do anything, it will fit as it is. And if not, we'll have to do some adjustments. So we'll have a think about that and we'll let you know what we decide to do. Next time we carpet the wheel arches, solve the problem with the bed, and then we begin to work on the roof. So we'll see you then.